How mm-hmm. much did you practice as a kid? Not as much as I should have. In fact, I look back and I was definitely a slacker compared to a lot of kids. I would say, you know, hopefully this won't come across the wrong way, but I got by a natural talent for a long time until I got to college. When I got to CIM and I looked in the practice rooms and I saw how much these, these my colleagues were in the room playing every day, it was a real splash of cold water in my face because I realized that I had a lot of work to do and a lot more work should have been done when I was younger. It's a misnomer that the amount of time you practice is what makes the difference. I mean, it definitely matters. Quantity is important, but quality is more important. And I think that people need to, kids need to realize that practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And spending six hours in the room you know, with your head flying in the clouds is not nearly as effective as three hours in the room where you're 100% focused the whole time. Take breaks. The more breaks you take, the better you are because you come back refreshed. You give yourself that space to kind of digest what you've done, and then when you come back, you can have a renewed focus, and it's critical. But it's, it's very important for all young musicians to realize that, you know, you need to be thinking all the time. Everything counts. Every minute you spend with your instrument counts. Whether you're spinning your wheels, whether you think you're, you know, pretending to be some kind of superstar, or whether you're honest with yourself and thinking, how can I get better? That's the time that really matters. How did you practice without driving your parents crazy? You know, my parents, God bless them, they, you know, they, once they realized that I was serious, they were totally supportive. And it's funny because neither one of them was a musician. You know, my parents were both doctors. Like, they really just liked to see me pursuing good, clean fun. You know, I remember when I first started playing the drums, my parents bought me uh, an electronic drum set that had headphones. And so, because my dad's like, I do not want to hear that thing. Because I'm sure he was thinking, you know, this is just going to be a bunch of noise. How much do you practice now? As much as I need to. It's that simple. I mean, I have, it, it all depends. You know, I mean, I've been very fortunate that, you know, I've had a lot of challenges thrown my way, you know, of different types, especially, you know, if I get, if I'm uh, fortunate enough to get asked to perform with, you know, a new music ensemble, you know, usually the new music is, is tough. And so it requires a lot of time. And I love a challenge because the reward at the end, once, you know, you, you see this, somebody gives you a piece of music and they say, we need this ready in a month or three weeks. And you look at it and you're like, oh man. You know, but then you start to kind of digest what you need to do and then you, you know, just get in the room, you know, set your metronome at half tempo, you know, and, and you got to be humble. It's like, I cannot tell you the number of times I take that metronome and I roll it backwards because, you know, it's just not possible. But, you know, young percussionists, young musicians really need to realize that there is no shame in slowing it down. The better it sounds slow, the better it'll sound fast. And that is, there's no getting around that. 